In celebration of National Disability Employment Awareness Month, FEMA affirms its commitment to an equal and diverse work culture by raising awareness and educating around persons with disabilities. Let's hear from your colleagues on the most effective ways to interact with employees with disabilities. Tip number 10, find out what people are capable of. When you think about opportunities that you don't lower that expectations of that person um, and you find out what that person is capable of doing and you use those, those um, traits. Tip number nine, normalize the conversation around disability. Anytime you normalize discussions, conversations um, about disability, then that brings people a greater level of comfort. Tip number eight, don't make a decision about me without me. People need to know that it's not cookie cutter. I think that's very, very important because what's good for me is not good for somebody else. Tip number seven, be open and honest. I think that sometimes people get a little afraid to ask um, and get a little bit nervous about saying the wrong things. But a lot of times, that openness and honesty actually creates a better connection with one another. Tip number six, assumptions of others are one of the biggest hurdles people with disabilities face. The important thing that everyone should understand is that if you have a coworker with a disability, the disability does not stop them from doing the essential functions of the job for which they are hired. Tip number five, be flexible with communication needs. Use voicemail, send text messages, follow up with the email, don't be discouraged. We all try to um, respond as best as possible, but just understanding what the challenges are would make your lives and the lives of those with disabilities much better to be able to interact. Tip number four, provide for the virtual environment. I think that moving into a virtual environment, um, what I tell people is that what you did in, in person, you need to provide in virtual. Tip number three, be mindful that not all disabilities are visible. Maintain a mindful ear at all times because someone with a disability may not, uh, they may not tell you that right up front. So you may have to kind of, you know, figure that out. Tip number two, talk directly to your colleague. Do talk directly to the person. Don't, don't, you know, even if, if they're deaf, still talk to them. Or, or if they're blind, still talk to them. Don't talk to the interpreter. Don't talk to the, the keypad. Talk to them just like they're the same, the same as you, one-on-one. -on -one. Tip number one. When in doubt, don't assume, ask questions. When in doubt, ask, never assume. Um, because once you start assuming, then you put people in a box um, rather than just you know, putting people as they are. Together, FEMA employees can create a workplace environment that is grounded in increased access and opportunity for everyone. Visit the OER SharePoint page or send us an email at fema reasonable dash accommodation at fema.dhs.gov.